The now infamous creationist Ken Ham wrote an article on his website, Answers in Genesis, about NASA. Who doesn't enjoy reading what a creationist has to say about science and technology? Guaranteed to be hilarious. So he's apparently upset because Pope Francis said that Given the opportunity, he would baptize Martians if they wished to become Catholic. So Ken Ham says, Oh my God, that's outrageous! That's outrageous, Pope, how can you say that? He says, quote, I'm shocked at the countless hundreds of millions of dollars that have been spent over the years in the desperate and fruitless search for extraterrestrial life. Secularists are desperate to find life in outer space as a part of their rebellion against God in a desperate attempt to supposedly prove evolution. What? what? <laughs> I love how stupid that is because none of that is true. He thinks that the whole idea behind uh, doing astrophysics and having NASA and doing science is it's to rebel against God. No, stop and think. Could you imagine if that were true? You have a bunch of NASA scientists in a room and fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson walks in and they go, All right, guys, are you ready for our meeting? How can we undermine God and how can we rebel against him? No, but they have, they're not concerned about that. Like, they're not interested in, in theology and religion and God and just the goofy metaphysical bullshit that you make up and adhere to. They're interested in facts. They're interested in empiricism. That's the whole idea of science, trying to ascertain what is true and what is not true about this universe that we're in and trying to discover new things. But he's, he can only see things through his own little narrow perspective. So he has to mold the world to fit what his beliefs are. And he knows that... In his life, he's always searching, God, where's God? I need God. It's, it's like a fucking security blanket for an insecure person, right? For a little, like a, a baby security blanket. That's what religion is to him. So he has to say, well, they're rebelling against God by doing NASA and doing science because I can't conceive that anybody would actually be interested in learning, so it must be to rebel against God. And when the whole idea of looking for extra, extraterrestrial life or studying the, uh, the stars or planets or whatever, that's got nothing to do with evolution. That's got nothing to do with evolution. I mean, there's already enough evolution, uh, enough evidence of evolution so we know it's true, and you already deny it. What, you wouldn't deny it if we found alien life? No, you'd still deny it. You'd say God created us and them. So there. Oh, it proves us right. That's what you would do. He's such a silly person, man. Uh, he continues, quote, Life did not evolve, but was specially created by God. Mm, my shit doesn't stink. I'm so special. God loves me. All right, he didn't put that in, but he might as well have. He says, as Genesis clearly teaches, Christians certainly shouldn't expect alien life to be cropping up across the universe. Now, the Bible doesn't say whether there is or is not animal or plant life in outer space, but I certainly suspect not. Mmm, hashtag science. Science, bitches. Creationist Ken Ham is going, <laughs> extraterrestrial life, that's an easy one. No. Next question. Oh, how positively scientific of you. Again, how did you look into that? Where's your study? Do you have telescopes set up at your fucking goofy-ass uh, creation museum? Oh, no, you're too busy pretending that Adam and Eve were riding a stegosaurus. He says, quote, You see, the Bible makes it clear that Adam's sin affected the whole universe. This means that any aliens would also be affected by Adam's sin. But because they are not Adam's descendants, they, can, they can't have salvation. I love how much he thought this out, man. This is what he thinks about 24 7 He's sitting on his couch fucking going through this elaborate theory about how Adam and Eve work into a conversation about Martians. And he says he doesn't smoke weed. This makes me think he smokes weed. He says, quote, Jesus did not become the god Klingon or the god Martian. <laughs> Only descendants of Adam can be saved. God's son remains the God-man as our savior. Oh, genius. He's so smart. You're so smart, Ken Ham. You're so smart. Did you hear what he said? He says, come on, guys. God is not a God Klingon or God Martian. He's a God-man. And he's here to save us, not the stupid aliens. This is the same kind of tribal bullshit that leads idiot fundamentalist Muslims to disagree with idiot 
fundamentalist Jews to disagree with idiot fundamentalist Christians, where each one of them says, Oh, we're right about God. God cares about us. He doesn't care about you. He cares about us. <laughs> we got it right. You got it wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, th he's doing that in an intergalactic way. He's going, oh, the fucking aliens. God doesn't care about the aliens. He cares about us. He cares about us. And not all humans, just Christians. Mm -hmm. See, God's with us. Uh, are we being tribal and primitive idiots? Uh, yes, Ken, that's exactly what you're being. You're an embarrassment to any moderate religious person who might just label themselves a Christian, but they don't believe it, or they're a deist, or whatever. Or you just might be a moderate Muslim and say, whatever, I believe, but I don't want to get into any specifics. Or any moderate religious person... Uh, our best argument as agnostic atheists against these clowns is to say, oh, that's cute, you're religious. You do know Ken Ham is too, right? 